Jonathan Creek star Alan Davies has spoken about biting a homeless mont's ear in grief after being barred from visiting his ill friend one last time before her death. The actor, 55, spoke about how his grief at his friend and colleague Verity Lambert's death was amplified after having given her eulogy and getting terribly upset and drunk before the incident occurred. Speaking about the situation five years ago, Alan recalled the moment he received the devastating phone call encouraging him to see the Jonathan Creek producer for the last time. Alan said, David Renwick, who wrote all of Jonathan Creek, rang me and he said, you're going to have to go now if you want to see her, it's that bad. And she was in hospital in London and I went as quickly as I could. But despite his best efforts, the star was told that he couldn't say goodbye to the show's producer as her situation was too terrible. Alan continued, I got there and her assistant, who looked after all her affairs, she had no family, said, I can't let you in to see her, Alan, I can't let you in. It's too terrible. So I wrote a note to Verity saying how much I loved her and I am so sorry this was happening, he said, before revealing that he asked the producer's assistant to read Verity the note. The producer died in 2007, five days before her 72nd birthday, following a battle with cancer. Tragically, she was due to have been presented with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Women in Film and Television Awards the following month. Following her death, Alan told how he mustered up the courage to give a eulogy at the Groucho Club in London, despite struggling with grief. He said, I did this eulogy. It was difficult. Then there was a very, very long wake and hardly anything to eat and I got terribly upset and drunk. After leaving the venue in the early hours of the morning, the star claimed that he was confronted by a man, resulting in the red mist coming down, which prompted him to bite the stranger on the ear. Alan continued, we came out of there at 2 o'clock in the morning. And then some bloke on the street was abusive to me and I went and bit him on the ear. When I got home I said to Katie, his wife, I think I've done something terrible. I went over to have a go at him, shout in his ear, the red mist came down, he said on the Griefcast podcast to host Carrie Ad Lloyd. Speaking about the incident at the time, Northerner Paul McElfatrick addressed the painful moment he realized the actor had bitten his ear. I thought he was going to whisper something but his face darkened and he almost spat the words, my name's Alan. You know my name, Alan. What's my name? It's Alan. Then he suddenly went for my left ear. It was incredibly painful. However, he explained that he forgave the star instead of wanting to press charges.